What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new hair product review video. And this weekend we're having a look at the Sea Monster Matte Paste from Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company. So, Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company is a father-son homebrewing team from California and all of their names of their products and stuff and the company itself come from a book that the son has been writing since he was a kid. So I think that's really cool. So yeah, Dr. Squirrel, Sea Monster, yeah, there we go. So the Sea Monster Matte Paste says on the front of the jar here, it's an unorthodox water-based styling clay that offers a dry, firm hold with a true matte finish and high volume. And this comes in this 4.5 ounce, just massive glass jar uh, for $16 on their Etsy shop. They did reach out to me recently and say they might have to bump the price up to $18 just because the price of their raw materials went up a lot recently. Uh, but either way, you know, $16 to $18 for four and a half ounces of product. And you know, as far as the packaging, like I said, it's, it's a huge, that's a lot of product. Glass, typical pomade glass jar with a black aluminum lid. Uh, but I like the labeling, I like the artwork on there. Um, and you know, so I just, I think it's really cool that they take all their names from that book. Now, of course, we get into my personal favorite category of scent, and the scent on this one is listed as spruce needles with notes of teakwood, amber, and fir balsam. So once you crack the lid on this bitch, it literally smells like you're sitting under a giant Christmas wreath or just sitting in the woods. Like it smells very natural. You get that big fur hit like it. And you know, some people might say it smells like pine. It's not really pine, um, but yeah, it smells great. It smells very natural. It smells pretty strong in the jar. I just said smells like 50 times in that sentence. Uh, yeah, so it's it's fairly strong in the jar and you once you are first getting it into the hair You can smell it for a bit uh, But then it does dissipate and after a while you don't really smell it anymore now getting briefly into the ingredients This is water-based of course. So we've got water in the first spot and then we have blah, 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 blah. Words are hard today So we have water in the first spot and we've got some kale and clay We've got PGA beeswax, hydrogenated castor oil, cerebellino wax, and we also have Dead Sea clay in here. So two different kinds of clays, two different kinds of waxes, and then we also have some goodies like coconut oil. There's a little bit of silica near the bottom, and we also have lotus flower extract and black spruce oil. So I, they've got a little bit of a blurb on some of those more key ingredients on their Etsy page. Page? Page? Jesus, I can't speak today. So I'm just gonna read what they have these in there for. What? Wow. So, so I'm just gonna go through these uh, so we can learn a little bit more about why they put these ingredients in there. So with the whole water-based idea, they want it to be fully water-soluble so it washes out very easily. And then we've got silica to absorb into the hair and plump it a bit for a thicker and fuller look. The uh, Dead Sea Clay and the Kale and K blend are just Big volume, big texture, we know those. I've got some acrylates in there too to provide extra structure to the hair. The coconut oil to leave the hair feeling nice and soft and healthy. And the lotus flower extract is meant to repair and strengthen the hair. So once we crack into this bitch and take a look inside, you'll see this gray toned product that actually looks quite liquidy and has quite a shiny wet finish to it. And as you can imagine from that, the scoop is Super easy. I mean, you basically can just dip your finger in there. Um, phrasing? Getting it into the hands and breaking it down, it's very soft, very creamy, and as you start to break it down, you will immediately start to feel that dryness from the clays and a little bit of stickiness, tackiness from the waxes in there. Moving that right over into the application styling and endurance demo. Now, they do recommend in their instructions on the jar here, uh, it says it works best to apply a small amount into blow-dried hair from back to front, brush the product through, style your hair with a comb or fingers, and you can, if you want to, you can blow-dry it again for added volume. Now, I've tried this in a number of different ways, including that one, and I found for me, since my hair is quite thick and just needs a lot of control, the best way that it worked for me was to actually use a really small amount, like a pea-sized scoop, 
into damp hair as a pre-styler alongside uh, my typical like smoothing serum or whatever type of smoothing product I need to use. Blow dry that bitch and then go in with about another dime sized scoop or two into the dry hair to finish it up. Now, despite how kind of grippy and sticky it is in the hands, it applies to the hair really surprisingly smoothly. There's really very little tug or pull whatsoever. Now, I will recommend use small scoops and layer this in. Typically when I style with it, I'll end up going in with two to three like dime sized scoops, uh, which just basically you need that amount of product in order for it to feel like the hold is setting up to where it should be. So as you can see here, that yields some pretty great results in the texture and volume department. It is definitely a dry matte finish, but not too dry. So, you know, my hair doesn't look, you know, fly away or frizzy or anything, uh, but it is just completely matte. All right, now having a look at the endurance portion of the test, this is about eight hours later. So you can see that the volume and the hold did keep in there pretty well. It did allow for my natural waviness to kind of come out a little bit, which honestly I don't mind. I think it looks pretty nice. And it definitely kept up in the texture department and it stayed that dry matte finish. It never got oily or anything like that. And I can say even like sleeping on it and then going into day two, there was like no dry shampoo required or anything. It definitely does not get oily. Now, washout, super simple. Uh, they went for fully water soluble and yeah, it is just straight water rinse and comes right out. All right, so overall thoughts on the duck. Jesus. <clears throat> Take two, so overall thoughts on the sea monster matte paste from Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company. I really like this. I think it's a very well done matte paste. Um, is it a true firm hold? Not really for me. I, I would say it's more of like a medium firm. It, it, so it doesn't deconstruct throughout the day as much as a real medium would, but I don't think it stays quite as like completely in place as a true firm does. It's somewhere right in the middle, but I mean, that's fine for me. As I mentioned, I think it looks actually quite nice when my natural waves start to come out a bit. Very, very lightweight in the hair. Um, definitely putting that tiny bit in as a pre-styler and blow drying it, or, you know, like they mentioned, putting a bit into dry hair and blow drying it again, definitely helps to pump up that volume big time. <laughs> Right Easy washout, great scent, um, great story. I just think the company is really cool. You know, father-son duo, it's always very kind of wholesome. Yeah, so definitely worth a look, guys. I will link everything down below so you can check out their Etsy shop if you're interested in giving this a shot. Please stay tuned to the channel, guys. I have lots more goodies coming up. Of course, more budget stuff episodes. I think next week I might postpone budget stuff to first do my summer favorites video because you know, the last favorites video I like totally fucking forgot and ended up having to do like two seasons in one. So I don't want to do that again. I want to make sure that I get the summer favorites in. So I might do that first and then budget stuff. I don't know. We've got a couple of midweek shampoo reviews that I'm hoping to get out as well. So if you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching and we'll see you at the next one.